السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ اینڈ ویلکم یو آل گائز ان دا لیکچر آف دی سیریز آف دی نیو سبجیکٹ اینڈ دی نیم آف دی سبجیکٹ از کار دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی ان دا ٹو ڈے لیکچر وی ول گو ٹو لرن واٹ از دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی ایپیڈیمیالوجی کیا ہے اینڈ واٹ آر دی ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی اینڈ واٹ آر دی ڈفرنس بٹوین دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی پبلک ہیلتھ اینڈ دی میڈیسن تو پب ایپیڈیمیالوجی پبلک ہیلتھ اور میڈیسن میں کیا فرق ہے لیٹس ٹو کم اپ آن دی ایپیڈیمیالوجی ایپیڈیمیالوجی ایکچولی اٹ از ڈرائیو فرام دی گریک ورڈ اینڈ اٹ از دی کمبینیشن آف دی تھری گریک ورڈ ایپیڈیمیالوجی جو ہے نا وہ گریک ورڈ یا یونانی لفظ سے نکلا ہوا ہے اور یہ تین ورڈس تین یونانی ورڈس کی کمبینیشن ہے دی فرسٹ ون از کار دی ایپی نو دی فرسٹ ورڈ از کار دی ایپی واٹ از دا مینس آف ایپی ایپی کا مطلب ہے اپون اور اون اے پی کا مطلب ہے اپون اور آن اینڈ دی سیکنڈ ورڈ از کار دی ڈیمو ڈیمو اینڈ دی ڈیمو مینس پیوپل اور پبلک اور دوسرا ورڈ جو گریک ورڈ ہے اس کا ڈیمو ڈیمو کا مطلب ہے پیوپل اور پبلک لوگ یا عوام اینڈ دی تھرڈ ورڈ از کار دی لوجی اینڈ لوجی مینس دی سائنٹیفک اسٹڈی دی سائنٹیفک اسٹڈی نو اکارڈنگ ٹو دی میننگ آف دیز تھری ورڈس سو دی جرنل ڈیفینیشنس of the epidemiology it becomes a scientific study scientific study upon the upon or on the pupil so this is become the general definition of the epidemiology and the epidemiology just to keep in mind the epidemiology discipline okay the epidemiology discipline is the soul or the spirit of public health it means without the enough competent or the enough sound knowledge of the epidemiology you will not be unable enable become the expert or the sound knowledge in the field of the public health okay so okay the scientific study upon the pupil or on the pupil it is the general definition of the epidemiology now what is the actual definition of the epidemiology according to who according to the public health experts that epidemiology is the study now to memorize the definition of the epidemiology i made a mnemonic for the definition to keep remember in a easy way about the definition of the epidemiology so the epidemiology is the study of 2d's first of all keep in the 2d's it is the scientific studies of the distribution 1d means distribution and the second distribution and determinants the second D is determinants. 
means distribution of the disease distribution of the any health related status or distribution of the any health related events and the determinants determinants means the risk factor the causal uh, factor or the the causes the etiology and the risk factors these are the determinants of any health related status or event so the epidemiology is the study of distribution and determinants of hrs hrs means health health related health related status the second one i write down the s or e health status or event this event may be outbreak and this is event may be any disaster okay so this health related status or event it will be definitely in any sp is specific population specific population definitely these the health related status or event it will become happen in any specific population not in the general population it may be the general population but it is will be start from the any specific population because the disease or the health related event is always be happen in a some specific population so and after it is happening in the specific population and its ap is means application application of this study of the epidemiology study the application of this study c is for the control when you become a when you become scientifically study about the distribution and the determinants of the health related status or event in a specified population that definitely you will apply the application preventive application or the preventive measure to control the hp is health problem health problem just like the same in the corona virus definitely the social distancing and the wearing the mask and avoid from the gathering so it is the application of the preventive measure to control the health problem so to study more in detail about the epidemiology so the epidemiology have the certain important principles the first principle of the epidemiology is the study definitely you will go to uh, study the any uh, health related status or the event you will go to study in the scientific way to conduct the research about that particular health related status or the event to gather the data and to collect the data to summarize the data after the summarization of the data definitely you will go to analyze or interpret the data when you interpret the data definitely you will come up a uh, with the conclusion of the, that particular data after the conclusion of the data definitely such as you will come up with the numbers or the proportion that number of the proportion is a maybe particular spreadness of the disease or it may be say to the frequency of the disease in the particular uh, particular group of the people and this disease uh, may be spread or the in the particular time period 
So the epidemiology draw the conclusion by application of the different type of the discipline. He will use the biostates and the economics, public health, all the social sciences to come up with the concrete conclusion about the particular event or, or the particular event or the particular disease. Now the second important discipline of the epidemiology is the it is the quantitative discipline. In the quantitative discipline the epidemiology use the knowledge of the use the knowledge of the probability use the knowledge of the probability and the statics and the research methodology. By these three ways by the using of the knowledge of the probability statics and the research methodology that the epidemiology will come up with the quantitative discipline methods to come up with the concrete conclusion about the particular disease pattern or the disease uh, distribution. Now in the second way the epidemiologies always shows the causal relationship reasoning. So the causal relationship reasoning the epidemiology is always to prove or to test the hypothesis. To prove the causal relationship, the epidemiology always you prove or to test the hypothesis or maybe to develop the hypothesis. So to build up the causal relationship reasoning by the proving, testing and developing the hypothesis he will use the scientific discipline and these discipline is maybe biology, statics, biostatics, okay and then the economics in the field of the economics and social sciences, behavioral sciences. which is nowadays mostly is using the social determinants of the health. The social determinants of the health is nowadays the uh, burning issues and the field of the epidemiology. Like in the field of the physics and chemistry, okay. Nowadays you use is the ergonomic and the ergonomics is again is the field of the physics in which we will go to the scientifically study about the work. Okay. So different type of the works have the different type of the occupational hazards. So to study the scientifically about the occupational hazards it all will come up the in the field of the ergonomics. So the epidemiology it is not the only the scientific uh, research study but it is the integral part or the component of the public health which is the main discipline. With the help of the uh, uh, with the help of the epidemiology, the epidemiology is direct or give the uh, concrete conclusion or help out the public health specialist to, uh, to develop the uh, strategies or preventive measures to address the particular health problem. Now we will come up on the second main principle of the epidemiology. 
in the first in the first part we learned about the in detail about the study the first important principle of the epidemiology now the second one according to the definition of the epidemiology Ep epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinant of disease now the distribution how the disease had been distributed in the in the in the specific population so the disease has been distributed in the population by the frequency we see the distribution of the disease by their frequency and the occurrence of the disease now in the frequency of the disease how the disease has been uh, distributed in the number of the cases some diseases and the number of the cases in a some specific population is a quite much is higher as compare of the another disease suppose like the number or the proportion of the sti disease is quite much pretty higher in the young population as compare in the adult population like the the number of the cases or the proportion or the prevalence of the cases of the non communicable diseases is quite much is higher in the elder population as compare of the young population so the the distribution of the diseases according to the number and the proportion is a different according to the age pattern now another example the frequency of the disease suppose like a measles mumps and the six diseases which six infectious diseases is quite much is higher in proportion under the 5 years under the children as compared in the adult one because the immune system of the children is a uh, lower or immunosuppressive as compared of the adult one now the rates in the some particular diseases the rate is quite much low the maternal mortality rates the maternal mortality rates according to the, the geographical area is different the maternal mortality rates uh, in the balochistan province is quite much is higher as compare of the punjab and sindh because of the dispersed population because the lack of the access of the uh, the lack of the healthcare access so that's why the the rates of the maternal mortality rates is quite much is higher in the balochistan province as compare of the uh, as compare of the other provinces now the the second uh, pat the second uh, op, uh, the main concept is the pattern of the disease distribution the pattern means occurrence of the disease how the disease is occurring in the particular time and the particular group of the people and particular place so the pattern of the occurrence of the disease is according to the three methods now we will go to learn uh, we learned the frequency according to the uh, the numbers the proportion and then the rates now we will uh, to learn more in detail about the second concept of the distribution that's called the patterns and the pattern means how the disease is occurring so the disease is occurrence the occurrence of the disease according to the three criteria and these three criteria is called the tpp tpp means time place and person time place person or time person place so first of all how the disease according to the time how the disease is occurring is maybe in the daily basis or is maybe weekly basis it is maybe annual okay is maybe seasonal just like the uh, allergic disease is always be happen in the uh, spring season so it is a seasonal disease and annually in the summer season when the summer season will come up that the 
diarrheal disease is quite much becomes a epidemic in the or the children as compared in the in the winter season when the winter season come the upper throat infection is quite is become a quite much is higher in in the epidemic in the children as compared in the summer season so and then the daily basis or the weekly basis or maybe in the hours so we see the disease according to the time how it is occurring it is occurring on the daily basis is occurring on the weekly basis or it occurring on the hourly basis if the any outbreak is happen in the somewhere so the disease has become or uh, is become a epidemic in the hours or in the daily basis okay now the third one the second Uh, the second concept of the pattern is called the person now the in the person so how the disease has occurred is again some certain characteristic now the personal characteristic through this personal characteristic the disease is spreading in the particular specific population now like the smoking um uh, personal habits like the using use of the tobaccos uh, smokeless tobaccos or the smoking tobaccos which is quite much is higher in the young population so it is cause the occurrence of the disease as a may the show the pattern of the disease and the due to the uh, a dietary pattern if the someone is not taking the diet at the particular time period so it is again is the due to the personal characteristic and the second one is the some is the personal habits personal habits means late sleeping a late hours working the some the people which is are the uh, due to the personal habits they are going to sleep in the uh, in the late night so definitely they will be prone to be git disturbance or the insomnia or the maybe memory loss so due to the personal habits the disease pattern is occurring in the particular in the particular in the particular group of the people now according to the age and sex according to the age and sex suppose nowadays the eyesight weakness okay and the headache okay headache and withdrawal syndrome withdrawal syndrome lack of interest in work lack of interest in walls it all has been happening due to the internet addiction okay means screen addiction screen addiction of the mobile so the screen addictions or the internet addiction is quite much is higher nowadays in the specific population in the school going the children so that's why they have the eyesight problem they have the headaches they have the neck pain they have the problem of the neck pain quite much higher and they have the withdrawal syndrome and they may be the bizarre mood and the aggressive mood when the uh they become a disconnected from the internet and the the sex due to the sex the some specific disease is quite much like a breast cancer the breast cancer is quite much is higher in the female as compared of the male and the prostate cancer is quite much higher in the male as compared of the female and the lungs cancer is quite much higher in the male as compared of the female and the 
injuries all the fall injuries or in the working place injuries is quite much as higher as in the in the main as compared to the female because the men are working in the field as compared to the female so the female are more exposure of the indoor pollution as compared to the male because they are more uh, in the rural areas of the developing countries the female mostly the use the biomass gas or the woods for the cooking purpose so the female are more prone to the indoor uh, pollution as compared to the male and then the injuries the road traffic injuries road traffic injuries is quite much is higher as compared of the like a bike accidents bike accidents now the bike accidents you see the bike accidents is quite much is higher in the young population as compared of the adult population so the disease pattern the occurrence of the disease is a different according to the group of the people according to the age according to the personal habits according to the sex according to the marital status as well in the marital status stis is quite much is lower as compared of the uh, in the unmarried pupils okay now the place now in the place some diseases the occurrence of the disease according to the place is a different the pattern of the diseases occurrence is a different now just i shared a one example with you that the mmr is quite much higher in the baluchistan province as compared of punjab why because the population of the baluchistan the they are living in the scattered population in the scattered geographical area so they have the lack of the access of the maternal mortality healthcare facilities for the vaccinations for the tetty vaccination for the checkup so that's why the mmr is quite much is higher in the baluchistan as compared to the punjab the second one is the uh the urban and rural areas urban and rural area now the some pattern of the diseases is occurrence of the disease is a different in the urban area and the rural area quite now in the urban area the non communicable diseases is, is quite much is higher as compared in the rural area because in rural area the mostly the pupils are working in the in the field so that's why their activity their sedentary life is sedentary lifestyle is quite much is lower is a minimum as compared in the urban area so in the sedentary lifestyle in the urban area is quite much is higher as compared with the rural area the second one the in the rural area the communicable diseases is quite much is higher as compared in the urban area why because the due to the illiteracy due to the illiteracy in the women and the males so they are not going to immunize their children as compared in the urban area in the urban area the pupils are more literate they are more access to health care for the vaccination program for their children so that's why the communicable disease is quite much is lower in the urban area as compared to the urban area and maybe the other social determinants for that now the another is the living living location the living location suppose you are going to visit the some rural area and you found that the prevalence of the respiratory disease in that particular geographical area or the particular village or the particular area peripheral area of the ict is quite much higher as compared of the other one why 
because the this pupil are living more near to industrial area near to industrial area okay or in near to factories so those people which is are living near the industrial and factory area so they are more prone to develop the respiratory diseases are those people which is are working in the coal mine area so they have the again is the more prone for the pneumocytes cranii diseases as compared to those people which is are working in the other areas okay and the some of the people in the oh, in the in the school sites if the people are living in the near of the education or the school site they have the more literacy rate so their disease pattern will be different they are the more educated okay so in the today lecture we will stop our first lecture of the epidemiology till to here in the today lecture we learn about the epidemiology and the what is the definition of the epidemiology epidemiology where this epidemiology word has been derived it is a derived from the greek word okay and what is we learn the actual definition of the epidemiology the epidemiology is the study of the is the scientific study of the uh, distribution and the determinants of the health related status or event in a specific population and its application of this study to control the health problem so this is the actual definition of the epidemiology then we learn the epidemiology have the important discipline of the epidemiology in which we learn how the epidemiology is integrated with the other uh, the other subjects like the biostatistics economics and the biology behavioral sciences and the in the epidemiology we will go to use the scientific study about the research methodology through the research methodology we will come up with the concrete conclusion in the epidemiology is the quantitative discipline in the quantitative discipline it is use of the knowledge of the probability and the statistics and the research methodology the second one the epidemiology is a uh, show the causal relationship or the reasoning of the uh, different scientific discipline and the uh, of the uh, of the to test the uh, to test the hypothesis to prove the hypothesis and to develop the hypothesis by using the it is used in the different a uh, discipline of the science like on the biology physics chemistry and the uh, social sciences and then we learned the uh, and the important uh, principle of the epidemiology what is the uh, distribution of the disease the distribution of the disease by the two ways the first one is the frequency of the distribution the frequency of the distrib distribution of the disease or health related status is maybe in number is maybe in a proportion it's a maybe in the rates in the form of the rates and the second way of the distribution of the disease is the pattern how the disease is occurring in the different type of the pattern so the pattern of the disease is according to the ttp time place person how the disease is spreading according to the time place and person so in the last i request you all to watch my video lecture it is very informative it will enhance your knowledge and learning in the epidemiology subject i in the last i request you all to communicate your friends to watch my video lecture and subscribe my youtube channel up till now you didn't press the bell button please press the bell button by pressing the bell button you will get my new lecture as soon as i upload upload on my youtube channel thank you so much allah hafiz